Hey everybody, it is another hot day here in Georgia. We're at the end of August and I'll be so glad when we get into the fall and this cools down and I'm not out here working in the sweltering heat every single day. But uh, I just wanted to show you something. I got a sign made for the farm. So a guy cut this out on a plasma table. The letters are eight inches tall. And then, uh, I don't know what that rod is, but it was just a straight rod and he bent it and uh, welded, tack welded the letters in there. I think it turned out real good. I'm just gonna let it rust naturally. And um, I think it'll look real good out there, all rusted over. I just kind of wanted to give you a brief history on how I came up with the name Windmule Lakers and uh and why why i decided to name my farm in at all a lot of people don't they just call it the farm or it'll be a family name or something like that and i wanted to name it something i just thought it was fitting it was not big enough to be a farm and it was not big enough to be a ranch uh only being 25 acres so i figured it needed to be something acres and so um I knew I had the mules and I knew I wanted a windmill and I wanted to incorporate those into a logo. And uh, if you've watched any of the previous videos, you've seen the logo, it looks like this. Once I drew that logo out on a piece of paper, I sent it over to an artist and had them digitize it for me. and. Now I can uh, put it on t-shirts and stuff like that. But um, anyway, I came up with it because uh, I kept saying windmill and I had the mules. And so I just incorporated the mules into the mill and just started calling it windmill acres. And a lot of people didn't understand it originally, but then when they saw it and they understood it, it all made sense to them and they all kind of like it and they all think it's kind of catchy. So uh, this guy that uh, I know, he uh, made this for me about six months ago and it's been sitting over in the corner of his shop and he sent me an email, told me he had it for me and for me to come over there and get it. So I went over there and picked it up and I'm gonna hang it up out here on the arch. So let's get to it. So I've got the center of this marked right here and 24 and a half inches out, I've got a an eye bolt with a carabiner on it and then 24 and a half inches out and another one so what we've got to do is we got to get up here and find the center in between where the braces meet the top horizontal beam and then we'll go to the center and then we'll measure 24 and a half inches out and put an eye bolt in but we've got to get rid of this wasp nest first. There's a pretty good sized wasp nest up there. Had about 15 red wasp on it, but uh, nothing a little bit of hornet spray won't take care of. All right, so we got the eye bolts in there, 24 inches from the uh, knee braces. So they're perfectly spaced. We'll just raise the uh, sign up now and uh, hook her on. And there it is, hung up. Fits perfect, looks awesome. And we're 14 feet from the bottom of the sign to the ground. So where it says L in the word mule, um, 
that's the center of the sign and it's 14 feet from there so if anybody hits it it will it's on a pendulum so it'll swing out of the way well, that didn't take too long and i think it looks awesome great addition to the farm and uh super excited to have it up we'll be having the barn and the pole barn built in october and uh place is just coming along super excited about it i appreciate you following along and if you haven't done so already think about liking and subscribing if you would it'll help me out and i appreciate it we'll see you on the next one